Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're obviously we're doing something a little different. We're doing a tier list. I think that's pretty obvious because you guys are smart. Probably. I don't know, I've never seen you guys before. But uh, we, it's not just any ordinary tier list. We are doing a tier list of every Ghostbusters movie. The reason why I am doing this is because I just recently saw the Ghostbusters 2016. So, um... Yeah, we're doing that today. Uh, just gonna be fun. So, uh, of course, we're gonna have the original Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Ghostbusters 2016, and Ghostbusters Afterlife. And I have to rank them all. Okay, starting with the original. Um, the original Ghostbusters. Now, it is amazing. It's actually been a while since, since I watched it. I, I, I think it's really cool. Um... I don't really have any complaints, but I don't want to put it to S tier. Because I think that would just be like, ah, oh, it's because of nostalgia. You just think it's great because of nostalgia. No, I don't. Maybe I should do S tier because, you know what? Let's make it S tier. This one's great. Ghostbusters 2, though. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2. No. Um, it sucks, <laughs> but I'm not gonna make a D. Um, I think it still was good. The production was a lot better, and I think the story was really good. I just, just, I just think it's a little worse than the others. So I am going to make this. Uh, you know let's make it B tier because the production was a lot better. Uh, Ghostbusters 2016, this is gonna be very controversial, but I think Ghostbusters 2016 is good. I'm gonna lose all my, I'm gonna lose my subscribers from saying that, but Ghostbusters 2016 is good. I, it's funny, it's like, it has a lot of comedy and, uh, again, the production a lot better but they did make the characters a little too annoying like they were really annoying so i just realized this is like this is completely wrong okay so let me fix this i'm gonna make it at least an a tier it's pretty good now Ghostbusters Afterlife. Let's talk about this one. I've seen it many times. Again, production, amazing. Uh, it has Paul Rudd in it, which is cool. They bring back everyone. And uh, it's kind of nice. It's nice seeing everyone. We saw uh, we saw Bill Murray. I, actually, I don't know the rest of me. We saw everyone. It's kind of sad, though, the ending. Uh, I should have said spoilers. You know what? You know what? It's just spoilers, but I'm just gonna do this one for spoilers. It's kind of sad seeing uh, Egon, um, his ghost, because in real life the actor for Egon did die, and seeing the original villain for for the original Ghostbusters was really cool, and all the callbacks, it was great. So. I'm going to make it S tier. There's no way I'm not making it S tier. So, yeah, that was my ranking. Um, this episode, this video was a lot shorter than I expected. Uh, actually, let's talk about the show. Actually, I want to talk about the show. Um, so, talking about the show is kind of... Okay. The show is more cartoony because it is a cartoon. It's more like... How do I, like, explain it? It's good. But, like, I think it's too much comedy. Actually, I it's been a while since I watched it, but I think it's, like, too much comedy. I don't remember. I'm gonna make it at least eight because it's cool. It's cool seeing the Ghostbusters in a cartoon form. Uh, so it's eight tier. 
so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button you know i might make another one today uh because this one just didn't feel like enough hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time and goodbye